Mike's Space, all about our solar system. This is the revised edition. I'm the cat in the hat, and we're off to have fun. We'll visit the planets, the stars, and the sun. There is no place like space. I will prove it to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. Jump in, here we go. We will fly up so high. We can dance on the moon and play games in the sky. We will swing past the stars and in case you have missed them, you'll soon see the planets in our solar system. There are eight of these planets that circle the sun and soon you'll be able to name every one. Mercury's close to the sun's burning light. It is hot in the daytime, but freezing at night. On Venus, the weather is always the same. Hot, dry, and windy with no chance of rain. Can you guess the next planet? Well, here is a clue. It is my home and home to thing one and thing two. You have been living on it each day since your birth. It is third from the sun. It is our planet, Earth. It spins all the time, round and round like a top. It turns once every day and it never will stop. This question had thing one and thing two in a tizzy. If the Earth's always spinning, why don't we feel dizzy? We don't feel the Earth as it spins on its way because we're spinning right with it, right now, every day. Next, here is Mars. It's the color of rust. We sneeze here because it is covered with dust. Travel to Jupiter and you'll find it is bigger than all other planets combined. Saturn has rings. It's so light, who would think? It could float in an ocean and not even sink. A planet can have satellites that surround it. Uranus has lots of these objects around it. There are colors in space. I will show some to you. Neptune, planet eight, is a beautiful blue. We have seen all the planets. Now, here is a trick to remember their names and remember them quick. Say, Mallory, Mercury, Valerie, Venus, Emily, Earth, Nichols, Mars, just Jupiter, save Saturn, up Uranus, 991 Neptune, Nichols. For the first letter of each of these words is the same as the first letter in each of the planets you make. Now, here is a game you can play in the sky. Connect all the stars you can see with your eyes. It's star dot to dot. Use your imaginations and you'll see big pictures we call constellations. A dog, the great bear, the Leo, the lion, Taurus, the bull, and a hunter, Orion. A star in the sky may look small, like a dot, but it's really a big glowing ball, and it's hot. And there's one star, by far, that's our favorite one. We can't live without it. The star called the sun. From the Earth, it looks big. There is one reason why. It's the closest to Earth of the stars in the sky. But be careful, and never look right at the sun. Your eyes would get hurt, and that would not be fun. How big is the sun? We just heard right this minute a million of our Earths could all fit right in it. Oh, look at the time. We must go very soon, but first we must take a quick look at the moon. The moon does not shine in the sky in the night, but like a big mirror reflects the sun's light. Astronauts flew to the moon to explore a place no one had ever been to before. They walked on the moon and then drove all over in a special moon car called a lunar rover. An astronomer studies what's up in the sky. Thing too wants to be one. In fact, so do I. The universe is a mysterious place. We are only just learning what happens in space. So I brought you a present to look in the sky. Just 
put it in his telescope up to your eye. Oh dear, I must go. Fly back up to the stars and take things one and two out to dinner on Mars. But there's lots to discover, and it might be you who looks up in the sky and finds something that's new. Astronaut, a person who pilots a spacecraft or works in space. Astronomer, a person who studies the planets, stars, sun, moon, and other heavenly bodies. Constellation. A group of stars that form a pattern in the sky that looks like a picture. Lunar Rover. A vehicle used by astronauts to explore the surface of the moon. Satellite. A natural or man-made object that moves around a planet. Solar System. The sun and all the planets that move around it. Telescope. An instrument that uses lenses to make faraway objects appear closer. Universe. Everything that exists, including the Earth, the planets, the stars, and all of space. Thanks for joining us, guys. And remember that AM and PM story time is for any time. Hey, guys. How are you today? Did you like that book about space and the planets and the stars? Do you see what I'm wearing? Do you want to go on an adventure with me? Well, I have a little rocket ship in my house. I don't know if you knew this, but I thought we could, I'll bring my camera and we could blast off into outer space together. What do you say? Would you like to do that? Okay, I will grab my camera and I'll grab my supplies and I'll see you in a minute, okay? Okay guys, here we are. We're inside my rocket ship. All right, this is what you're gonna need today. You're gonna need some sunglasses. And I brought along my sunscreen because where we're going is really, really hot. Okay, get ready. Hold up, wait. Okay, now I'm ready. Are you ready? All right, let's count backwards together, ready? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Start, two, one, booster ignition, and lift off of the space shuttle Discovery, returning to the space station, paving the way for future missions beyond. Uh, star called the sun I'm the center of our solar system You revolve around me As we fly around the galaxy All of the planets in our solar system They orbit well, they follow me 230 million years is the time Together by my own gravity I'm made of 92.1% hydrogen H2 And 7.8% helium HG. -E. I'm a star called the sun Okay, now let's get ready for another blast off I got my fuzzy rainbow gloves Because this next one is going to be cold Are we ready? 10 Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Mission and lift off of the space shuttle Discovery, returning to the space station, paving the way for future missions beyond. Welcome, Africa. On the moon, Earth's natural satellite. I rotate the same speed as the Earth, and I'm a natural source of light. I'm the moon. My appearance is gray and white. You only see one half of my surface, whether it's day or night. It's believed I was created 4.5 billion years ago. When a Mars-sized body collided with Earth, their debris formed me real slow. Meteors, asteroids, and comets struck my surface for a billion years. 
advantage of the fact that they don't burn up in my thin atmosphere. If you wonder what a moon is, it's a natural satellite. One that orbits a single planet, the planet orbits a star so bright. Scientific observations were first made in 1610 by Galileo Galilei, the astronomer Italian. On the moon, Earth's natural satellite. I rotate the same speed as the Earth and I'm a natural source of light. On the moon, my appearance is gray and white. You only see one half of my surface, whether it's day or night. When the Earth spins on its axis, ocean levels stay the same. Then the moon's gravitational pull creates the tides that we see change. 238,900 miles from the Earth is the distance measured when the first spaceship landed on my turf. The reason you see one half of my surface all the time is because my rotation's the same speed as the Earth taught in this rhyme. It takes 27 Earth days for me to rotate once around. There is no air on my surface, so you won't hear any sound. On the moon, Earth's natural satellite. I rotate the same speed as the Earth, and I'm a natural source of light. I'm the moon. My appearance is gray and white. Hi, guys. Well, we are back on Earth, and I am happy to be here because it's just perfect on Earth. The sun was so hot, and the moon was so cold. But on Earth, we're in a nice in-between temperature. Sometimes we have warm days, sometimes we have cold days but it's just right on earth. So I'm happy to be back here. Did you guys have fun? I hope you did.